In this video, I want to show you the easiest way to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. I'm assuming here that you already have VirtualBox installed and configured on your PC. If you don't have it installed, please look at the video in the description on a quick way to install it on your Windows 10 PC. So first we need to download Kali Linux from Kali.org. So open your web browser and then go to Kali.org and here in Kali.org hover over downloads and then click on download Kali Linux. You need to scroll to the middle of the page almost and here you see that we have Kali Linux virtual machine for VirtualBox pre-configured for us and this is better instead of downloading the Kali Linux full installer and then reinstalling it in a virtual machine it is pre-made here it will save us time so on the opposite side click on this link here offensive security vm download page so here in this download page you have two types of images one for vmware and one for virtualbox the one that we are interested in now it is for virtualbox so i'm gonna expand virtualbox and here I'm gonna download the 64-bit version. I don't have a torrent client. If you have a torrent client, it's better to download it via torrent. It's much faster. So I'm gonna click on the name here to download it. And depending on the browser you're using, you're gonna get some prompts. Here I'm using the Tor browser. So I'm gonna click on download file. And then here I'm gonna click on save file. Okay. And here I'm gonna save it under the downloads folder. Of course, feel free to save it wherever you want. Once you choose your folder, click on save and the download will start. You see here the download is starting. It's a pretty big download. It's 3.6 gigabytes, so it will take time. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when the download finishes. And now the download has finished. Now that the download of Kali OVA finished, we need to import it into VirtualBox. So open VirtualBox, just click on Tools and then Import. And here we need to select the file that we downloaded. So click on the icon here, on the folder icon. And then go to the Downloads folder or to any folder where you downloaded the Kali Linux OVA. Choose Kali Linux and click on Open. And then click on Next. So these are populated automatically from the OVA. For now, just click on Import and we are going to change them later. So click on Import. And here on the Software License Agreement, click on Agree. And the importing will start. The import time depends on the speed of your machine and on the speed of your hard disk. I have a SSD drive here, it's very fast and I have a very fast machine, so it will take seconds only. When the importing finishes, you'll notice that the default RAM settings are only 2GB. If your host system allows it, give it more RAM. So make sure Kali is selected and click on Settings. Click on System. And here for the RAM, as I told you, it is optional. If your host system has RAM enough, like mine here, it has 16GB. So I can afford to give it 4GB which is equivalent to 4096 MB and then click on OK. And now after you change the settings, I'm going to start Kali Linux. The VM by default, it has the user Kali and the password Kali. Of course, we are going to change them. So here I'm starting Kali Linux. Let me minimize VirtualBox. And as I said, the default user and password are Kali Kali. So the user is Kali and the password is Kali. I'm going to show you how to change them later. Click on Login. And this is Kali. This is version 20.04. And for Kali now, the first thing we need to do is, of course, change the password of the user. So let's open Terminal. And in terminal here, let me make it a little bit bigger. 
and in terminal here we need to change the password so key in sudo password Kali so this is the user Kali and hit enter you need to enter of course the password the current password of the user Kali so it is Kali now and then put the new password choose of course a strong password and confirm it and now the password is updated let's also update the password for root and this is very important sudo password root and give it a new password a strong password and hit enter and now the passwords are changed so the next step now is to update Kali so key and sudo apt get update and hit enter so this is the update finished let's also run the command sudo apt get upgrade key in yes when prompted and wait for it to upgrade this operation will take time while installing the upgrades you'll get this message just make sure you select both options with the space bar so just press the space bar and then with the arrow key on the keyboard go down to the second one and press the space bar and simply press enter it will continue and now we still have one last upgrade to do so let me clear the screen and then you need to perform here sudo space app dash get this dash upgrade and hit enter and here also press yes enter and wait for the distribution upgrade to finish also the distribution upgrade was the last step in the initial configuration and you're ready to use Kali on VirtualBox. If you like this video and you think it might help others, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.